there are literally thousands of generative ai powered tools out there at the moment and every day there are dozens and dozens of tools which are popping up everywhere but there are few tools which really catch your eye and then you get hooked to them it seems glyph which is still in alpha is probably one of those tools i just did a video on its chrome browser extension which is called as glyphit through which you can remix any image on the web but then i stumbled upon their website and i can see that this is one of the best ai image generator and image manipulator out there glyph in their own words is a playful low code platform for creating tiny ai powered generators called glyphs at a basic level a glyph takes user input it could be text or an image or the click of a button and generates an output and that output could be again a text or an image or a video or combination of all of these and behind the scenes it uses powerful ai models a glyph can be an ai selfie generator an image generator a video a meme a comic a story or something else entirely that you dream up creativity and innovation is the key here all you need to do is to sign up with your email and then you're all set to go and when i was signing up they said that the only rule is that don't be a jerk there is no uh, don't be you know put in any uh, untoward or unethical images or stuff like that such as nsfw images which is not safe for work and then you're all good to go play safe play nicely and you will enjoy glyph a lot now you can build here you can run here you can explore here so you can by running i mean that use existing gifs made by their creative community to generate fun images gifs and text use your gif emoji to generate an ai selfie you can make a comic about your pet dog you can create a cyberpunk character new glyphs are being dreamed up every day as you can see here on your screen and you can also build your own so you can create a tiny ai media generator using their friendly yet powerful builder and then building a glyph is like playing with blocks as a kid in glyph's case a block can be an input or an output each block works together with other blocks to generate your creative vision but you can simply explore you can check out all of these things which have been made by other people easily now let's check it out so i already have signed in as you can see on the top right i have my login enabled so just click on image generator let's check it out the first one is to check the image generator let me click there now here you can see that there are a lot of things which people have already built let's explore first so japanese stamps k-pop cyborgs and then there are a lot of stuff which is there and you can see that creativity is the king here whatever people like they are putting it in retro stuff is there fashion of different eras and places maybe let's check it out fashion there you go so you can see that this place is mumbai era is 1960s okay and then gender is female so glyph it do you want to glyph it let's glyph it that is cool let's let it generate and then you can see that where it is generating it it has it is also telling us the eta in a very innovative way there you go how cool is that now let me put in maybe um karachi which is a city in pakistan mumbai is a city in india maybe this will bring them closer okay let's see and the speed is quite good for both of them wow okay that is fine now let me put it in my own city which is sydney where i am right now let's see Nineteen sixties. Let's see what sort of image we get with nineteen sixties. Uh, oh, how cool is that? Okay, I didn't know that we had these artificial turf at, even in those days. But the dressing looks cool. Awesome. Okay, maybe I'll just put here Bondi Beach, and maybe let's go with the modern era, twenty twenties. Twenty twenties. 
glyph it. This is import era features. There you go. So someone has built this glyph by doing this. Amazing stuff. Wow, this is cool. Awesome. Okay, so but I don't see any beach here, but anyway, doesn't matter. Now look at here, we have created these. <laughs> okay, so nice, nice. My name is still popping up here. Cool. Okay, so different things it has created with uh, different sort of ideas. Amazing stuff. I think I could just explore it whole day. Amazing. Now let's try to see what exactly is in build let's click on build and now we can just start out by adding our uh, spell let's uh, build one glyph here quickly so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a glyph which will help you find a bride now it's very easy to create let me show you how first click on this start by adding a spell from here we need to select what sort of generator or glyph we want do we want text image or image to text let's go with image spell because we want to create image of the bride okay now first let's try out as a what sort of image uh, what sort of prompt do we need and in the prompt one let me give it a prompt like this let me type it here or maybe i'll just paste just to save time so i'm saying it photography photography is still live showing as maybe i'll just go with live showing kate winslet as bride in the bridal dress designed by claire pettibone claire pettibone is one of the world's most famous or uh, one of the famous bridal dress designer let me click on and clip it let's wait for it to come back and you can see that in the image generation model on the left hand side it has selected um, stable diffusion excel let me make this bridal uh, sorry this window bit bigger so that you'd be able to see my prompt and model so you can see it is uh, it has already selected the stable diffusion excel which is quite good and you can see now it has put kit in the bridal dress awesome but we don't want to hard code it we want to uh, let user put in their own wish as a for a bride so let's click on this plus sign from here we want uh, to enable user to give the text input so let's click on text input and let's edit this so i would just say maybe um here who would you like as a bride okay that is press enter or anywhere that should save it automatically that's done you can see and if you come down you can see that it is putting it here now we need to replace this gate win select in the prompt with the input just select the gate win select and click on this green button as input and it has been replaced cool now this is cool and now let me put anything here maybe i'll just say Mona Lisa and then click on glyph it input image one there you go so it has put the Mona Lisa as your bride here now okay let me give you it one last one I'll just say Edward Manet's Olympia so this is a very very famous painting by Manet and this is from I think 1856 quite controversial but really beautiful painting so let's cliff it okay so I think something happened there but anyway I'll just change it maybe it is maybe we'll just go with PCA this is another Greek mythology stuff okay maybe I just need to reload it okay no I think I just need to save and publish maybe okay i'll just save it publish okay so it has created awesome i'll just dismiss it and then would it work now let's try
Okay, let me go back here. And then there you go. My maybe I'll just edit this and why it's not letting me save it. I'll just say find a bright and choose any of your let your fantasy run wild just for fun save and publish that's done let's go back and maybe i'll just say again let's try out here whether it works or not oops maybe i have run out of credits or maybe um, this is nsfw because this is quite a controversial controversial image who should i select maybe someone from past maybe let's go with pamela anderson let's cliff it let's wait is there something happening or nope okay now i think maybe um i have run out of credits because i've been doing like crazy anyway but you know how to go with the glyphs so if you go to the glyphs i just want to see if my glyph is available for the world to see maybe i'll just search it uh, what was the name bright can i find anything yep find a bright so it is there so i need to also put the image here maybe i will edit it and then give it some sort of uh, maybe um, image or some icon to make it more beautiful anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and if i go to their website there is a lot more which we can do i mean there are memes comics character generator utility gifs and i could go on and on you can also have video generators all work on the same pattern for example if you click on character generator you can do a lot of uh, character generations or dreams adventure creators and then as i said sky is the limit and there is no limit to your creativity that's it i'll drop the link to it in video description have a go at it and let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching